Hi everyone, um, welcome to our next video. Say hello, Phil. You say hello? Give me kisses. Mwah. I got you. <laughs> um, so today we are doing a 50 facts video, which um, I'm not sure how long it will take. I'll try and speed through them as quickly as possible. Um, and let's just get into it. So first fact, we always get asked what made us start the Instagram account and at the time that we started the Instagram account it wasn't really pets on Instagram. Um, so I actually started it as a workplace bet. I started losing my friends following me um, on Instagram because they said I was spamming my Instagram feed with too many pictures of my dogs. So I decided to just turn my Instagram into just a pure dog account and I deleted a personal account for a long time actually. Um, and yeah, it was a workplace bet. They didn't bet that we could get to, or I could get to 200 followers. It took about a year, but I did get to 200 followers and then 2,000 followers and then 10,000 and then it just spitballed from there. Um, so yeah, so the first random fact is that the account was started as a bet. People didn't think that um, my dogs were cute, well people I worked with, people I are friends with, didn't think that the dogs were cute enough to um, be insta famous and I always knew you would. Okay, so fact number two is that all of our pets are neutered, spayed, um, I can't think of any other words that you do to describe it. Basically, none of them can have kittens or puppies or anything. Phil, we did because he was really bad at recall and we heard that that was quite good. We had never intended to have any puppies. Well, I say we. Shane never intended to have any puppies. I would have loved to um, have a litter, but then I probably would have about six or seven. I'd have a whole pack and uh, Shane is not up for that, so. Fact number three is we got Phil, so we bought a house, our first house, we were living in apartments before that, and um, the house didn't really have any furniture, and we put all our money into the deposit for buying the house, and the deposit for Phil. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, so we, when we got Phil, we had picked up the keys for our house on that morning, we hadn't even entered the house, we'd just driven straight from Manchester to Liverpool, which is about an hour's drive, um, and went and got Phil, and then for about a month and a half, two months, Back in the Lensville, come here, come here, there you go. For a month and a half, two months, we uh, we lived on blow-up beds that he kept popping as a puppy. Uh, we had a cooker, a fridge, and a television that sat on the carpet, and then we had a blow-up bed, and we lived in what is the living room now, uh, whilst all like sofas, everything was on order, and we were waiting for it all to arrive. And so, yeah, so fact number four is that we got an eco on the night of the Scottish referendum. We drove in Scotland, uh, we drove all the way up, it took so, so long. And um, yeah, so we picked her up from a farm just outside of Glasgow. Um, and yeah, and then we lived happily ever after. Fact number five, I randomly, again, probably not something that you should uh, listen or learn by, I got Milo because Shane told me I couldn't have any more dogs, so I decided to rock up with a cat and pretend he was a present to give to Shane so that he wouldn't be mad at me. Um, fact number six is that Phil flooded the house when he was a puppy. He, we've got a plumbed in fridge, you know, one that dispenses that like, ice and you can get chilled filtered water through it. And he ripped out the plumbing, ate through it all, and um, yeah, flooded the entire ground floor of the house while we were at work. Number uh, seven, we're on now, is that Philip, Phil, come here. Look at the camera when you tell this story. Philip broke my mum's nose. We used to use a, um, an extendable lead with the button and it can just go, uh, and it was built, designed for his weight and everything. He, this was when he wasn't good at recall and before we'd had him neutered, he was still a pup. And um, I was working away, I think, or on holiday. My mum was looking after him. She walked him in the evening. He saw a cat. She didn't press the button in time. She didn't let go of the lead. He dragged her all around the estate trying to chase after this cat. She refused to let go of the lead because she thought I wouldn't forgive her if she lost Phil or if he didn't come back. Fact number eight, uh, Nico, as a puppy, destroyed our staircase. She ripped up the bottom step from the carpet. There's a video on YouTube at the moment. Number nine, when I first got Milo, I nearly um, killed him, unfortunately. I had a bouquet of, li bouquet of lilies. Milo then touched a lily. So, anyway, it turns out he didn't have uh, the poisoning. It hadn't got into his system, so it was all unnecessary, but I was just being extra precautious. And now I've got both of them. No. And Airbnb for almost a year now. <laughs> Number nine. 
number 10 is that we live in a, um, a three bedroom house in, uh, well about three miles from the city centre in a place called Salford and number 11 is that we've got a, a house we list on Airbnb um, so you can actually come and stay with Phil and Nico if you choose to, we'll link the uh, listing in the description below. Fact number 12, we this year we sold 50 custom Phil teddies that we had made and manufactured, uh, 13 which is that we go on a dog holiday at least once a year and those calendars and teddies, the profits from it, funded our dog holiday this year when we went to Scotland. We go pretty much the same place every year, although last year we did Wales and Scotland. Fact number 14, we do do sponsored posts on uh, Instagram. We do have birthday parties, so last, and Phil's will be coming up soon, so we do... <laughs> he's down. Um, we meet up with people in the park, loads of people who came for Phil's birthday last year. Fact number 16, we are... I am... Again, when I say we, it's pretty much just me. Shane's just kind of like cringing there in the background. Um, I am waiting for the day. So I've been spotted, Shane's been spotted in an Apple store, which is hilarious. I've been spotted out and about asking if I own Phil and Nico. And I always panic thinking, why, what have they done? And it turns out they're following on Instagram. But what hasn't happened is I've never met somebody that knows Phil and Nico, unless we've told people where we're going to be. You know, we've, oh, don't leave me. We've announced that we're going to be somewhere and then people have come to meet meet them but I'm just waiting for the day where I'm out on walkies and somebody walks up to me and is like oh, is that Phil or Nico? Fact number 17 the dogs were not uh, our best man or our maid of honour at our wedding it was important to us oh no number 18 is that the account kind of escalated or it started growing really when Shane proposed, I think we were on about 20,000 followers. Fact number 19 is, although we do have an Airbnb where you come physically stay with them and live in their home, we do just meet up with people. If somebody's uh, in Manchester and wants to meet up for a walk, if they come on one of our local walks into uh, like one of six different national parks that we go to, if they want to meet up and just meet the dogs, um, that's more than fine. Number 20, our uh, social media channels are mainly Instagram, because that's where it all started. That's probably the easiest one I find to use as well. Uh, we're also on um, YouTube, obviously, and Imager. Uh, 21 is on Imga, Imager, whatever it's called. We were catfished. We were, somebody had taken our stuff from Instagram, was pretending to be us, and it became really famous on this social media platform. I think their name was that like, Sneaky Snack. Fact number 22 is both me and Shane do have full-time jobs. This isn't a job for us, this is a hobby. Um, we both work in insurance. Uh, number 20, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, fact number 23 is our devices. So um, we take all of our photos on, well, mainly on an iPhone 7, which is my phone uh, and Shane's phone. So that's the majority of stuff is just taken and captured in the moment. Hello, hello. Um, I'm also filming at the moment on an Olympus pen. I think it's, yeah, Olympus Pen 7, I think it is. Um, we've also got a GoPro Hero, which is what we attach to the dogs, which is what we do most of our outdoor filming on. And then we've recently got a drone, so stay tuned for some more drone footage. 24 is that Shane is actually the person behind YouTube, the Instagram account. I tried to manage the YouTube, but it got a bit too much with all like the licensing issues. Oh, Phil's gone. And Milo has come back. Hello, Milo. Hello. Fact number 25 is that we featured in about 42 different uh, wedding articles thanks to, um, I guess, the dogs being at the wedding. They kind of propelled it. And yeah, the best one I think was that Yahoo did a whole video on us. So. See that? Cool on cue. Come. Come sit. Stop. Sit. Number 26 is that Nico has a major attitude. Fact number 27, we get loads of comments on YouTube about how overweight the dogs are. It happened when we got them neutered and spayed. Fact number 28 is I actually wanted husky. Yeah, I went to buy a husky, realised that Malamutes were bigger. Um, and that, that just sold it to me, the bigger the better in my view, isn't it Nico? 29 is that uh, we actually have a painting which we'll uh, show a clip of, but that painting was done by a follower we, ran a we won a competition 
um, and it's probably our most prized possession, it's a painting of the dogs. 30, Phil has been tested for hypothyroidism, we thought he had it, you'll notice that he's got a bit of a sparse tail, we really don't know the cause why, we can hypothesise that it's the fact that Nico used to pull him around by the tail as a puppy, but we don't know that for certain. The 31 is that Milo's breed is unknown, we've been trying to do DNA tests on Milo to work out what breed he is, as he doesn't come with papers. Fact number uh, 32, been from a place called Chelmsford, which is in Essex in the UK. Uh, number 33, we often get asked what the cost is to keep animals like this. Our average monthly spend would be about £200. Okay, so fact number 34 is uh, their ages. So Phil is going to be five in two weeks. Nico is three, she'll be four in July. Uh, and Milo just turned one. So uh, yep, that's their ages. Fact number 35 is that Phil was raised by a golden retriever called Toby. 36 is some of our, one of our followers, a few followers ended up doing it, but one in particular on Imager created a Tinder profile for Phil and had some hilarious conversations. Number 37 is uh, over Christmas we posted pictures of a ragdoll kitten called Claude. He is not our kitten, he is Shane's little sister. Number 38 is we drive a Vauxhall insignia. Fact number 39, which we often get comments about. So, uh, our, do our neighbours love our dogs. Phil, speak. Ready? Oh! Good boy. Speak again. Ready? Speak. Oh! You're not going to do it, are you? Oh, you're going to let me down. So, um, fact number... 40 now. Anybody where they can't see their eyes, where they've got hoods up, where they've got um, anything over their heads, I guess, that blocks their face from being seen, they do get, um, they bark quite a lot and panic a bit more. Act number 41, uh, Phil's growling. He started doing it with Airbnb, but basically people that he hasn't known, more male than female, he likes the ladies. Um, but he does this like low growl, almost like a purr, but not, because it is in a way aggressive, but at the same time it means that he wants you to continue stroking, he's going to pour you if you stop. 42 is that we take the dogs to a different place every weekend, we use like a circle of uh, 10 places that we'll go to um, on a round robin basis. In fact, number 43, we have fed our dogs applause, uh, dog and cat food, sorry, we feed our cat too. We fed them that for the last 12 months or so now. Number 44, we used to take Phil for swimming lessons. We'd heard that it was like a really, really good exercise for dogs. Um, so yeah, so we started renting a hydrotherapy pool, pool, which was for like dogs with arthritis or issues which meant they couldn't walk. It was a more gentle way of exercising. We hired it just as a way of uh, fun exercising. We were trying to get him to love water. Malamutes, I think, are known for not really liking water. Number 45. Uh, Shane has a rule, no dogs on bed. 46, we only wash our dogs. This one really creeps people out as well. We actually only wash our dogs about four times a year. Back number 47, um, the dogs are trained, not like by amazing standards. They know how to um, sit, lie down, give paw, speak. They know how to come back, although <laughs> the way we taught them come back, which was not deliberate, but we have to say goodbye. So it's not like if I said, Phil, come here, he'll come here. I have to go, bye, Phil, bye, and then he'll come. And I even do the way stress, so we gave up on that one. Pause one moment, because I think Milo's just smashed something in the kitchen. Let's go see. Milo? Milo, what's that? What is it, Milo? You're always knocking stuff off. Act number 48. Weird one. Nico loves to roll in poo. Uh, I don't know why she does it. It's disgusting. It really is annoying. And I can't seem to break it. Phil would never do it. Fact number 49. We used to have a dog walker for when I work offshore. Shane obviously works a lot. He also likes to go to the gym. So uh, I hired a dog walker to break up the day while Shane was at work. And then finally... Fact number 50, our 2018 goals. So our 2018 goals are to reach 400k on Instagram uh, and 50k on YouTube. So we want to get to 50k subscribers. We're at 20 at the moment, so we'll tune back in at the end of 2018 to see how we get on. But yeah, they're kind of like our goals. Uh, like for, From a social media perspective, our goals for the dogs are to lose weight, um, to get themselves back down to a healthy weight. So Phil would be eight stone, Nico would be five stone. Um, and we'll continue to track and monitor their progress. They are two, Phil's a giant, so you can't expect him to go down too much. He's a different version of Malamute. Nico is much, much smaller, so yeah, we've got a stricter goal for her. 
So there you have it, there are um, 50 facts about life with Magnus. If you stayed and watched the entire video, thank you, um, appreciate it, and <laughs> come here, stop it. And um, yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more videos, and please comment below what more you would like to see from us. Bye guys. Say bye Nico. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Love you. Mwah. Mwah.